with them. And for a good defense before the onslaught. Blessed are you, O Lord, thy God, of our fathers, and grace and glory abide is your name unto the ages. You are God of mercy, compassion, and love. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. Even as he has hoped it. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord. Holy Lord, you dwell on high, but watch your defense below with your all-encompassing gaze. You oversee all creation. To you we bow both in spirit and in body, and to you we pray, Holy of Holies, extend your unseen hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. And if we have sinned willfully our intention, we as a good and loving God forgive, granting us both your earthly and heavenly gifts. For the Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to to the Father, to the Son, and the Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Who is the blessed he who is Christ, our true God, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord God strengthen the holy and pure faith of devout Orthodox Christians and of His holy church. This city and bear us to endless ages. Amen. Most holy Father, O God, save us more honor than the chair of the more glorious man, the bread and the seraphim. In purity you gave birth to God, the Lord was true. You are the mother of God, you do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, our God, and our heart, our glory to you, Christ, our true God. Who rose from the dead for the presence of his most pure holy mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honor of the wise powers of heaven, the prayers of the venerable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, of our holy God bearing fathers, of our Father among the saints, strong Christians to march to Constantinople, whose divine energy we celebrate this day. Of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our righteous Father Patapios, whose name we celebrate this day, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good and love to mankind. Through the prayers of our holy Father, Jesus Christ, our God, our Father, Jesus Christ, our God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy Peace, Today our salvation has come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who resurrected from the tomb and is the author of our Lord. Lord, 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 Ευλογημένη βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Εν του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσό. Υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών, του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Υπέρ της ειρήνης του σήμαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας του Αγίου του Θεού Εκκλησίων και της των πάντων ενός αιώς, του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For 
pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Gerasimus, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those for those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, <laughs> wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord, 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 whose mercy is immeasurable and love for mankind ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Blessed is the Lord, Lord of my soul, as you did not honor, not all that he has done for you. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, oh, save us. The Lord in heaven has prepared his throne and his kingdom rules over all. Φυλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητη. Κύριε Λέησον, της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου, δεσπίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας, με τα πάντων των Άγιου Μνημονεύσαντες, εαυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωή ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθά. kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord of my soul, praise the Lord of my life, I will chant it to my God for as long as I have my being. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is himself, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Sing, O son of God, risen from the dead, we sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. So, so Hello. 
Blessed is the entrance of your holy ones, always now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Sophia Orthi.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy, holy God, who is resting among the holy ones, praised by the seraphim of the flesh and the heavens, glorified by the cherubim, and worshipped by your celestial power. You have brought all things into being that are worthy, and you have created man according to your original likeness, and adorned him with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the one who asks, and you overlook not the sinner, but have said repentance is the way of salvation. You have granted us your humble and unworthy servants to stand even at this hour before the glory of your holy altar of sacrifice, and to offer to you your worship and praise. Master, accept that they saw you him also from the lips of us sinners, and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship you all the days of our lives. In the intercessions of the Holy Father, and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are God, our holy, and you now for the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord and have mercy. Shine on our hearts, O Master, who loves mankind. The pure light of your divine knowledge and open the eyes of our mind that we may comprehend the proclamations of your gospels. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having trampled down all carnal desires, we may lead a spiritual life, both thinking and doing all those things that are well pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, our God, are the illumination of our souls and bodies, and to you we offer our glory. Together with your fathers of that beginning, in your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. Make your vows known to the Lord our God and perform them. God is known in Judah, his name is great in Israel. Wisdom. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience. 
Corinthians, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Peace be unto you, the readers. Sophia Orthi, wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirits. Ek tu kataluka na yu evangelio to anagnosma. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands upon her, and immediately she was made straight, and she praised God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said this, all his adversaries were put to shame. And all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you, o It's wonderful to see everyone, as always, and thank you if you are visiting today. We thank you for joining us. God bless you. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A few weeks ago, Presbyter and I decided, since we had kind of a rare free evening together, we decided to take our kids out and go out to dinner. And we decided to go to a restaurant in, um, in Oakland that's on the water. Very, very nice, very beautiful. And I've been there a couple of times for lunch, but not for dinner. And the second we sat down, it's a beautiful restaurant, decorated for the holidays, etc. Very, very nice. But the moment we opened the menu, we said, hmm, the lunch menu 
It's a little different <laughs> from the dinner menu. <laughs> um, and so are the prices of the dinner menu. <clears throat> Nevertheless, we ate our food, we ordered our food came, we ate, the kids had a nice time. Then we got the bill and we were a little shocked. But as we went out, you know, it was still good food and everything, but at one point Stella asked me, she's like, so what did you think? And I was like, you know, it's definitely worth it to go there for lunch. I'm not sure if it is also worth it to go to dinner. Worth it, worth, is something that we apply ourselves, uh, apply to many things in our life, including ourselves. But in a very, very interesting way, we compare all the time, don't we? We look at something and we say, is it worth it? Is this meal worth it? I know there's a sale for this article of clothing over here, but still, is it quite worth it? Um, so on and so forth. Is going there worth the time? And worth this and worth that? We ask ourselves this all the time, don't we? And it's interesting when we also apply it to ourselves. And we start asking questions like, am I worth it? Do I look up to the part, so to speak? Am I worth it? Does this person think I'm worth it? Does anybody think I have worth in this way? Um, very, very interesting question. One that is, I think, a little bit too critical for us as human beings. And certainly when we look at ourselves and when we look at one another, and we ask ourselves this and use this word worth, it's not really fair. There's a YouTube video that a couple years ago came out that went viral, was very, very popular. It was sponsored, I think, by Dove, but I could be, I could be wrong. <clears throat> but it was about an artist who was sitting in a studio, and there was a curtain between his drawing board and a person. And without even looking at them, he said, describe yourself for me. And the person says, well, I'm about this tall, and my hair goes down about here, or here, or wherever. I have this color eyes, this color hair, about this big of a mouth, etc. And so the person started drawing. And he's very, very good, very professional. Um, and he started drawing. After he was done, another person who knew that person came in and did the same exact thing, but instead of describing themselves, he said, describe this person that was just here. And he drew again the same portrait. And he did this six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. And when he was done with every single one of these portraits, he laid them out, he hung them up in his studio. And if you see the portrait that the person themselves described next to the portrait that everyone else described, the portrait that the individual themselves described was always uglier. Maybe some of the perceived flaws were emphasized more and the other one that perceived beautiful traits were emphasized more. The tagline was, you are more beautiful than you think you are, was the tagline. Look it up, by the way. It's an excellent video, great motivation. Very, very good. But what is it about this that we apply to ourselves? Am I worth it? Am I worth it? It's a very difficult question. Jesus today addresses this very question of human beings and our worth and our value. There was a story today in the Gospel reading about a woman who was paralyzed. She was not even straight. She was hunched over. And she could not straighten herself for many years. And Jesus even called it an act of Satan, how she was this um, low, laid low. And so when the time came to heal her, even though it was a Sabbath, of course, he did not hesitate. He healed her, and she was made straight. But when the people started complaining, when the rulers of the synagogue, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, those enemies of Christ in almost every single story, even in a miraculous healing, he says, why are you healing on the Sabbath? Do it on one of the other days. Think about that for a sec. Anyway. Healing this person should not be done on the Sabbath. You can't break the rules, even though even breaking the rules was debatable. And Jesus responded by saying, don't you, when you have an animal and it's thirsty, lead it to the manger to water it? By the way, that's why this gospel reading is a couple of weeks before Christmas. It's because there's a mention of a manger, but I digress. That's why there's 
Last week was the 16th Sunday of Luke, and this is the 10th Sunday of Luke. It doesn't make any sense, but it's for Christmas. Anyway, close parentheses. Even the animals, he says, are worth taking care of when it's difficult for you. And so what about this person here? <coughs> the question, the debate here on the surface was about the rules and regulations of the Mosaic law and Jewish tradition. But underneath that layer, there was a deeper meaning to this, and that was this person's worth. This person's value. This Sadducee, whoever was complaining to Christ, said, this person is not worth breaking the rules for. And when God himself hears that, he responds with, yes, they are. Yes, they are worth it. Yes, they are of great enough value for me to stretch a little bit. Although even, again, that's debatable even with the Sabbath. Because my brothers and sisters, sometimes we ask ourselves this and we question and we get dejected and we get depressed. And who knows what kinds of psychology takes over at that point? Not good. But in those moments, whenever we question, am I worth it? God says, yes. God says, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are worth it. And then some. Just like the lilies of the field and all these metaphors, these parables that Jesus says. How much more, O ye of little faith, how much more worth it, how much more value is this person than your ox? He says. And I will heal them, he says. And I will make sure that they are straightened up again. It's a beautiful expression of love and of our own worth in the eyes of God. The problem is that we ourselves have a tough time believing this sometimes. It's a little difficult. The entire theme of the scriptures in one, there's lots of themes of the scriptures, but there's one major theme and that is love. But if you were to take that one step further, what kind of love? What kind of love? The story of the Bible, whether you're reading the book of Genesis or the book of Revelation or anything in between, the story of the entire history of our faith, the history of salvation, is one kind of love. And that is the one who loves chasing the object of his affection. That is each of us. Each time humanity does something and falls away, God takes the extra step to go get us and to bring us back to his love. One professor at seminary even called it an unrepentant lover's chase. But this is the theme in the scriptures. God saying, yes, you are worth it. In the book of Genesis, when God creates everything, if you read this story, the creation story, each time he creates something, God saw that it was what? Good. After he created. And that's for everything, by the way. The sun, the moon, the plants, the animals, the water, the deep, etc. After he creates human beings. And God looked at all that he created. God saw that it was what? Very good. He creates everything else and God saw that it was good. When he creates us, indeed it was very good. That's in Genesis chapter 2, if I'm not mistaken. God saw that we were very good. We are worth it. We were worth creating. We are worth healing. And we are worth loving. It's an incredible statement. This season of Christmas, we celebrate a lot of different things. Christ is coming to earth, primarily. There's lots of themes even within that. But remember that he came to earth because he was still chasing us. He came to earth because he still felt that we were worth it and that we are worth it. God believes and loves us so much. What does the liturgy say? What does the prayer in the liturgy? You did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you, etc. We are worth it. Never doubt that. 
for a minute, whether you are a teenager or a little child or middle-aged or elderly or whatever, we are always worth it. That is how much God loves us, and that is what we celebrate, yes, during Christmas season, but also every day of our lives in the Christian faith, every single day. We are worth it, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, and don't let yourself tell you otherwise either. That is how much God loves us. May we always remember this as we celebrate all that he has done for us and continues to do for us, because we are worth it. Amen. <clears throat>
sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins and the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts presented and upon all your people. <clears throat> Συν το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την Ινκαιάη και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Η πάση της πίουεθό. And with your spirit. Let us have love for one another that with oneness 
of mind we may confess. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Στο μεν καλό, στο μεν μεταφόβου, πρόσκομεν την Αγία να αναφοράν την ειρήνη προσφέρειν. Ελαιόν η ειρήνης, μισή ανένεσαι. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. to him you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, and to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are invisible, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands. Even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. 
singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, Amen. and that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. So that they may be for those who partake of them, for the genes of soul, the mission of sins, Yeah. 
Grant him to your only churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind, and all the people. Remember, Lord, those and who all who the people. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, and those who are mindful of the poor. And upon us all send forth your mercies. Και δώσει μην εν εις το μάτι και μια καρδία δοξάζειν και ανημνήν το πάντημο και μεγαλοπρεπές ονομά σου του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. God who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. For the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We to you, O Lord. Pray this to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from the sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness before you <coughs> into judgment or condemnation. Και καταξιώσον ημάς δέσποτα με τα παρησία σαν κατακρίτος των μανεφικαλίστες σε τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτε και μόνο, ο Ενδύς Ουρανής, αγιαστήτως το όνομά Σου, ευθέτω την Βασία Σου, γεννηθήτως το θέλημά Σου, ως το ενόμα και τη ψυχή Σου, τον άρτον ημών των επιλουσιών, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we us not into temptation. أبانا الذي في السماوات ليتقدس اسمك ليأتي ملكوتك لتكن مشياتك كما في السماء كذلك على الأرض خبزنا الجوهر آتنا اليوم واتفق لنا ما علينا كما نتفق نحن لما لنا عليه ولا تدخلنا في تجربة لكن نجنا من الشرير For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you. King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. <laughs> Συν το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αή, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. 
come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned to the Father on high and are present among us and visibly here. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and mercy. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and mercy. Amen. Let us be gracious to the sinner, and mercy. Amen. Let us be attentive. Ta proskomen, ta gia, ti sagis, the holy gifts for the holy people of God.
As we come forward for Holy Communion, I would just like to um, let everyone know once again, since we have a lot of visitors today, about our practice in Castro Valley of allowing our children and their Sunday school teachers to come forward first, so that they may be dismissed to their Sunday school classes. Following the receiving of the children, um, the ushers will be dismissing Jerome uh, one at a time. I would simply ask that we would keep conversation to a, um, actually keep it null. <laughs> Not, not, not minimal, but nothing at all. We have plenty of time to socialize afterwards in, this, in the hall and during the fellowship hour. We are approaching the very body and blood of Christ, and so I would ask that we um, keep this in mind, that we may come forward reverently and orderly. Also, if you, are, if you are visiting our parish and you'd like to know more about our community, the greeters in the narthex will have little, uh, have little information packets that they can pass out on our way out uh, if you would like to know more about our community. Thank you and God bless. <coughs> Metaphor with the peace of Jagapis Proselfete, with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. 
the servant of Lord Elizabeth receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Commission of sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. The servant of the Lord and Gideon Jesus receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Commission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. The servant of the Lord Alexander receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Commission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. The servant of the Lord Alexander receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Commission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. The servant of the Lord Alexander receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Commission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. The servant of the Lord Alexander receives the precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
God save your people and bless your inheritance. So son of Theos ton laon su, que vlo y son ding vido no mi an su. Ido men to fos to olithina, ego men reba e pulanion. Ebron de pisin olithi, aliere tu criada forskinu. sanctification and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your 
your commandments. Give rest, O God, to your servants and place them in paradise where the choirs of the saints and the righteous, O Lord, will shine as stars of heaven. To your departed servants give rest, O Lord, overlooking all their offenses. Bring glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let us devoutly praise the threshold radiance of the one God as we sing. Holy are you, the Father, without beginning, the co-eternal Son and the Divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. Both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who gave birth to God in the flesh for the salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si. Sister Thecla, for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Kyria Leison, Kyria Leison, Kyria Leison. Opos Kyrios Otheos, Taxitas Pichas, Afton and Taidike, and Apagunde, Tale to Feutin Vasilia and Nuranon, Kyafesi, Don Afton, Amartion, Paracristo, Tatanato Vasilike, Theo, Imonetis, Sometha. Ara su Kyria. Let us pray to the Lord. Ο Θεό των πνευμάτων και βάση σαρκώ, των θάνατων καταπατή σα, των δε διάβολων καταργή σα και ζωή των κόσμων στο δωρησάμενο. Αυτό κύριε ανάπαυσαν τα ψυχά των κεκοιμημένων δούλων σου. Εν τόπο φωτεινό, εν τόπο χλωρό, εν τόπο αναψύξεω, ένθα απέδρα οδύνη λύπη και στον αγμό. Παναμάρτημα το παραπτών πραχθέν εν λόγω η έργο η διανία ω αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό συγχώρησον. Ότι ούκε έστειν άνθρωπο σα ζήσετε και ούχα μαρτύσει, 
Συγαρμόνο σε κλώσα μαρτία υπάρχει, η δικαιοσύνη σου δικαιοσύνη στον αιώνα και ο λόγο σου αλήθεια. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, Nicolaus, Thecla, who have fallen asleep, O Christ our God, and to you we offer glory with your eternal Father, who is our beginning in your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Eternal, dear brother and sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. May your memory be eternal, dear brother and sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. O Theos, συγχωρήσεις και αναπαύσεις εν χωραζόντων. Αιωνία ύμνη and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious, prophet and forward of John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and priest with the apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and glad-bearing fathers, of our father of the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, with divine liturgy we have celebrated, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of our righteous father, Patapios, who is the son of the saints, Sunday morning and start the week off right, even if the weather hasn't exactly been agreeable with um, some of the distances that we're coming from. Um, it's wonderful to see everybody. A couple of announcements as the, as the trays are being circulated, just a couple of things. Um, condolences once again to the families of the memorials. We welcome uh, all the visitors who are here for memorials, for one of the memorials uh, or the other. And um, thank you for praying for the souls of our departed brethren. Uh, may their memories be eternal once again. Um, next Sunday, I'll just go ahead and start with some of the special events for this month. So a week from today, next Sunday, is our Sunday School Christmas pageant. Um, the lady who is putting it together, who is coordinating, is sitting in the back, Barbara Comstock. Yes. It was also her name a few days ago, so put on your Barbara, and Barbara Struzes. 
Did I miss anybody? I feel like we might have uh, one more. <coughs> okay, good. The, the two that are here right now, anyway. Tonya Pola. Um, they've been working hard the last couple of weeks, and I know that they're doing things like trying on costumes and rehearsing and all of that stuff. So they're going to be presenting for us um, next Sunday. Um, it will also be kind of a special <coughs> liturgy that day. It will be another all-English liturgy, um, just as kind of a way of, well, first of all, for the kids, uh, but also a way of kind of outreach, uh, which we're going to be doing, I think, four times a year now. Um, it should be a wonderful day. It's not going to be a teaching liturgy where we stop and explain everything. I might do that maybe once, but other than that, it's going to be regular liturgy as normal, just, just all English that day. Um, and then the, kids will, the Sunday school kids will present their pageant, so that will be on that day. Um, before we get there, however, this Friday, the 13th, is our second annual Christmas concert, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, if you've been at coffee hour any of the last couple of Sundays, you've probably heard the choir um, rehearsing in the um, foyer in front of the, in front of the hall. Um, that is where the concert is going to be because um, the piano is in there and it can't be moved into the church without great difficulty. Actually, it's a blessing in disguise because the acoustics in there sound absolutely magnificent. So our, the concert part will be in the foyer and then the reception will be in the small hall, <clears throat> as far as I know. Like last year, small hall, right? Yeah, okay, Liz is nodding. So we pray that you may be with us um, this Friday night. Uh, that begins at 7 o'clock, and the admission is free. So um, please attempt to join us. It should be a lot of fun. It was great last year, too. Um, and thank you to the choir for stretching with some extra rehearsals this month uh, or so um, for this concert again. Uh, women's ministry next Sunday as well. So after the Christmas pageant, that afternoon at 4.30 p.m., um, women's ministry, women's fellowship is going to be doing an ornament exchange. And it's going to be at uh, Pam Petsis' home. Thank you for hosting Panorea. I think I saw her over there earlier. Um, so that is going to be um, at 4.30 on December 15th. Please contact Pam or Christine if you'd like um, any information or if you want to RSVP. The crab feed, as we mentioned last month, uh, last week, excuse me, is going to be moved to next month um, because it is not crab season right now. Again, I made a joke about it's something ha having to do with whale migration. Um, but nevertheless, it's not ready yet, so we're going to bump it to the first Saturday of January instead of the first Saturday of February, uh, excuse me, of December. So um, January 4th now is our new date for crab feed, 5 p.m. social hour, 6 p.m. dinner. Um, you can obviously have, you obviously have plenty of time to make reservations now <clears throat> because we have a little more time. So please feel free to call the office if you'd like to come to crab feed. Okay, um, there's lots of ministries taking place. Um, last thing I'll say, um, last but definitely not least, um, is that there will be liturgy celebrated this Thursday, December 12th, for the feast of Ayu Spiridon, St. Spiridon. Hronia um, Pola in advance for any in our community who are named Spiro or Spiridula, um, or if are from Gerkira perhaps, uh, he's a great saint on that Ionian island, as um, seems to be the case with all the islands in the Ionian having a special saint there. Um, uh, you know, who is in, whose relics are incorrupt. So services will be at 9 a.m. on Thursday. Um, we pray that you, be able to, you can be able to make it with us. Yeah, please. Uh, good morning, everyone. <coughs> One quick announcement. You may have seen the email that went out from the office. We have an opportunity this week to work with a few other parishes in the area oh, well. on a wonderful service project in advance of Christmas. Uh, they're called St. Nicholas Sachs, which is part of Focus North America's effort. Um, We'll have bags up in the uh, hall during coffee hour. They're reusable bags, and what we'll ask you to do is fill them with a certain number of toiletries. Uh, the list was sent out in the email, and I can provide you with another list. Uh, fill them with the toiletries that they need, and return them next Sunday. And we'll be distributing them to the homeless at the Soup Kitchen at Annunciation Cathedral on December 17th. Um, we have 100 bags to fill as a parish. That's very doable. There's more than 100 people here. Take a couple with you just in case somebody doesn't. Take two to take three. Should only take about five to seven dollars to fill each bag, so not a lot. Uh, and bring them back next Sunday so that we can give them to the homeless along with their hot meal that day. Thank you. Thank you. And actually, we were just at the cathedral yesterday for <clears throat> the Philoptos Light the Path Luncheon, the fundraiser for all our seminarians from the metropolis of San Francisco. The soup kitchen now has about 150 <coughs> people that come every week. So 100 bags is uh, our offering from the church would be very nice to covering that, that amount of people. And so thank you, Justin. St. John's money. and Arenda is doing 50, so we'll get everybody covered that night. And I want to say, are any other parishes doing it too? Oakland? Uh, just our two parishes That's with fine. Annunciation. Perfect. Perfect. So 150. Excellent. Yeah.
Good, and see the Lord provides, the Holy Spirit provides. Um, lastly, it's an announcement I think everyone knows by now because it was a special mailing and we've been talking about it the last few weeks, but General Assembly is today as well. That'll be in the small hall or large hall? Small hall, okay, great. Um, <clears throat> As you know, it's not a special General Assembly. It's just a standard General Assembly that we have to do twice every year. Um, we do one in the spring, one in the, in the, in, in the winter. Um, usually the one in December has, actually always the one in December has also the budget for next year that we have to vote on and so forth. So, um, but more than anything, it's an opportunity for us to get together and talk about what our parish has planned and hear what our parish has planned um, for the coming years. Um, it, we believe that we are on a mission um, in many ways as a parish, you know, Christianity always should be a cause, um, a mission with philanthropy, outreach, um, you know, building projects, these kinds of things. So we always have things going on. So we have as a parish leadership, either the parish council or ministry leaders have some ideas about programs that are coming, developments with our building project and so forth. Um, you know, so we pray that everyone can come, as many people as possible, so you can hear first and foremost, because we don't want people you know, not, I mean, skipping these kinds of things and then kind of assuming things later when they hear a half truth or they hear a little bit of news here and there, we start filling the gaps um, on our own as, as Renee says in the office sometimes. Um, so we, wanna, you, we want you to hear it firsthand, so please come so we can present. And if you have any questions or any ideas, of course, um, so please do so. Um, that will be in the small hall, um, uh, of course, immediately following liturgy. Um, feel free to grab your cup of coffee and, and pastry or whatever is being served today and come next door so we can have our General Assembly. Um, once again, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful uh, week this week. God bless.